all this is uh, flipped kind of. So let me redraw this question for you. So you're not bending your neck here. Um, I have to bend my neck. So let's see, seven here. It says aspartic acid at pH one, pH seven include a hydrogen atom. So this is actually a biochemistry question. So I, I'm not actually that familiar with biochemistry, but I will do my best to try to figure this out here. So H3 end bond CH bond CH2 bond C, this is OH here. This is double bond O, my carboxylic acid group bond C double bond O bond OH. So this is the, this is the, um, this here is the our aspartic acid and this here is at pH one. We want to draw it at pH seven and pH 13 here. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do here is uh, if I'm, if I'm increasing the pH here, it's going to basically uh, depronate um, our, our, our hydrogen atoms here, right? So which is the first uh, hydrogen to be depronated as? So, well, I have here uh, H3N uh, positive here. So first it's going to depronate, obviously, uh, this N group here. It's going to make it NH2 plus because it's going to be now a neutral atom, right? So as you can see here, pH, um, uh, pH 7. Oh, so they actually depronate the carboxylic acid group here first. So the, o, the H's here are going to go away, uh, going to basically depronate at pH 7. So let me draw that for you. And then at 13, it's going to depronate H3 at here. So it really depends. I need, I basically would need a chart uh, for aspartic acids in order for me to solve this question to see where, where the PKAs are and to see uh, the um, uh, the structures here. So again, very much a biochemistry question here that I'm not as familiar with. So, so I'm sorry about that. But I have a this is pH seven here, and as you can see, pH seven means that I'm going to depronate my uh, my my uh, my hydrogens off the the the, the uh, hydro hydrogens that exist are my uh, hydroxyl groups here. So let me just redraw this guy here, and I might have I might run out of space here. So let me shift this up. So here is double bond O, and this here. So they would basically depronate this guy here first. <laughs> So this becomes O and this becomes the negative charge here. Right? This is an O minus now. And then it will also depronate um, this guy here. Right? This guy here would be uh, O minus as well. And that's exactly what they drew out here. Right? Again, it's being depronated here. And then finally, um, I would get uh, my last depronation at pH 13 would depronate this guy here. So again, this here, what it should have been, should have wrote a positive charge here, but I, but I did not. And this here would depronate, I would get uh, uh, H2 instead, and the charge will go away, right? So this here would be pH 13 here. So H2N here, and this would be uh, my structure at pH 13. So this solution is correct. I believe the carboxylic acid, um, acid hydrogens go depronate first, and then the amine one. Uh, second, so this is my fault. Uh, it probably has to do with uh, the PK, uh, the PKA of uh, of ammonium and of, of NH three here, and um, and how this is a uh, more uh, more uh, stable bond. It requires a higher a higher higher base here for me to um, to depronate these uh, these atoms here. So or these this group here. So this solution here is correct. So remember, if I'm increasing pH, it's increasing the basicity or the um, the the um, is increasing or lowering the pH or uh, sorry raising the pH here. It's going to basically depronate my uh, my aspartic acid. If I increase the uh, the pH, obviously it's going to pronate our I have abundance of H plus, so it's going to pronate our aspartic acid here. So solution here is correct. Uh, no one else is provided, but I believe that um, so hydrogens on the alcohol group in the carboxylic acid functional group are deprotonated first before the uh, the amine group is deprotonated protonated pH 13 
page 13, and this one would be page 7. So solution here is correct. Uh, <laughs>